Mm. Mm. I am actually here just to say good morning because I feel like this beautiful Saturday morning has been made, oh gosh, the view for coffee and tea. I don't even have anything significant to say because this is like those Saturday mornings when you just with your girlfriend or your aunties and you shooting around, shooting the breeze. This is a shoot the breeze day and moment. I wish I was gonna be able to tell you I'm coming here with some bam, bam, fire news. I got a couple things to tell you, but honestly, if you clicked, I just appreciate you joining me on this beautiful Saturday morning with this cup of hot water only because I don't do tea, but the coffee here is spectacular and strong. Like Rwanda is really, really known for their coffee and you definitely have to try it. I just don't do it that much. Mm. So just a couple of things that's happened this past week. I'm still new in Rwanda, which is crazy because it's like a lot of people are asking questions and I'm like, I am a baby in these streets. Like I am straight off the nipple bottle top maybe I shouldn't have gone there Be baby in the streets like I'm not even an infant I'm not even walking I'm just how y'all doing hey but I um just knew and um I'm gonna sit here and say first of all let me see if I can get y'all close like y'all see the hair done it, it's did it's did up right it's, it's done it's done right so oh let me get you the back the back braid Bind, right the definition in detail so I did, um, it's the case or the story or the tale of the hairdo that almost did not get done. Because yes, there is a story behind it. It took me five days to get my hair done and not anything against any other salon. It's just, you do have to recognize that English is spoken a lot here. However, um, you have to know a little bit of Kiarondon just to be able to get around with transportation and I was just getting stuck over and over again. So if you have any friends who know Kiarondon, it puts you in a better place. Yes, I'm probably gonna start taking classes because you're gonna have to be able to know at least the basics um, to be able to get around successfully. It's just, it makes things a little bit more complicated. So what had happened is, what had happened, you know there's a story, what had happened was, um, at the first time when I finally got the information for the salon that I went to, when I texted them to ask them in English what is the location, they responded back in Kilrondon. And so I was like, I'm, I don't know this, send me a pen. But I think it wasn't until the next day that somebody understood. And so then I finally got a call from somebody. And literally the advice was, when you get into the taxi, call me and I'll explain how to get there, which actually was the best advice. And then I tried to do that, got into the taxi, my phone died. So that was like one day I couldn't get my hair done. And so it really legitimately took a minute. But they had all the product. They um, had, Oh, they have Miss Jackie's. I was really shocked. So I'm going to have to go back and get me some Miss Jackie to put in the hair. And for all of this, that cost me 10,000 francs. $10, baby. Ten. Let me get get in on get in get in all the ridges on the ridges. You see the ridges? You see the you see the twist 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 go? The twist go. Ten thousand. Ten thousand francs to be fly in these streets. Who, who you talking to? I can do that. That's a life I can live happily and abundantly with all joy. Mm, crazy. You know I'm somebody's auntie. The way I talk, shout out to my auntie who taught me how to talk like this. You know what I'm saying. Yes, that's how I feel. I can feel like, mm, sister girl, mm, mm, the, mm, mm, in the streets. Like, you know how you talk to somebody? Sip tea, take a look and make a point. So yes, that's that was the hairdo. Um, I'm going to do a whole video, but I have to find some more about just phone service and everything out here. Because it's just a different way to do things. And so I feel like that needs its own little video. Um, I had something else I was gonna say. As cute as I am, it's kinda hot. I should've came out here with a fan. Now, you talk about throw it back with the fan. 
Yes. Yes. They're playing soccer off in the distance. I don't know if you can see it. I don't know who's winning. It looks real interesting though. Oh, it's not soccer, it's football. It is football. But out here, interesting enough, and I can't wait till COVID's over, they actually have a basketball team. So I really want to go and support that. And then they have a beautiful stadium um, for sports. There's, it's really a robust city, a lot going on, a lot popping off. So I say it's a good chance for you just to ask your questions and um, talk, subscribe, hit the button. I'm sorry. Sometimes Saturdays just be like that. You just talk and shoot the breeze and you be like, okay, this, this, that, that, do, do, woo, woo, all these things. There is something I'm supposed to be telling y'all and I just pop, pop it in my brain. Oh, on the beat. Do that thing. I want to thank Rwanda for the gift. I didn't know I needed. I appreciate it. It's like an early Christmas gift. It ain't quite formed yet in its full... I want to say vernacular, but that's not the right word. Vernacular of what it's supposed to be. But I'm so appreciative of the gift. I'll sit here and say my ancestry DNA line has been blessed and tampered with and there's certain things that I get to partake in with my soulness. And there are certain things that I need a little work on. For instance, I ain't the hottest thing in Zuma. My, my one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight count be kind of like a one, two, three. Like I don't, I don't always have the rhythm on the beat. I gotta think that the ancestry DNA, you know, stuff happens, you know. And so, two to that, I blame that on my seasoning skills at times. Sometimes, just it don't mix together. But they manage the structure into my DNA, and I'm a curvy girl, baby. I'm curvy. But I ain't never really had that took that thing out, mommy, dip it low. I ain't, I know. I, I like, I would, I would, I would always have to arch the back. You know how we did back in the day, how you walked with the, so you could act like you had to toot that thing out. Rwanda's giving me that toot down. Well, I ain't at the toot that thing out part. I'm at the toot the thing. I'm at the thing. I got a little thing a thing. I saw it in the mirror the other day. Still got some work to do. I'm walking these heels with a purpose now. I'm still out of breath, but I got a purpose now. That look, look, on a natural walk, just a, that, the, 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 the toot, the toot. I ain't had no toot that thing. Toot that thing out, mommy dip it low. I ain't never had no toot that thing out. Woo. And it's natural with it. Bump your squat routine. Just walk to the store. Mm, mm, mm. And forget something. And have to walk back twice. Woo! Toot that thing out, mommy. I promise you, if I get full toot, I am going to make a special DJ mix in dedication to all the hills and valleys I've had to walk and climb in order to get this behind. I'm telling you, it's real in these streets. Mm. But speaking of that, and I want to thank the YouTuber who commented, um, you do need a lot of water, way more than I'm used to. And I'm even coming from Dubai, and I feel like I need more water. Like, I really don't feel like I ever drink enough water. And I only say that, too, because, one, I'm also working a lot. So you don't realize you're expensing out water. You don't realize you're dehydrated until it's almost too late. And... Um, I didn't realize, and this is what the subscriber said, we're actually living at a different altitude. And I've never been in heels and stuff, so you just have to adjust certain things, your breath, your body, until you're adjusted to that altitude. Which is why you got to drink water. Like, get you a case, have two bottles on you at all times, um, until you can just get your body adjusted. But you, you gotta have water in hand, period, all the time, ready because it's winter time and I'm hot. I don't know what the summer's gonna be like. But um, I will say that I have been dehydrated and to the point where I'm drinking water all day and I thought I was gonna catch up. No, I didn't. I didn't, I'm, I'm having to like triple my intake because if you're not paying attention, and I'm telling you, we're not about this life yet. We have to get adjusted into this life. So you, you gonna find yourself just parched because you're not going to catch it. You're just going to be in a minute of somewhere and just... 
are just parched. And so, hence the water, not the coffee. Mm. Anyway, like I said, I'm going to um probably just end this video, catch a little breakfast. I have errands to run. It's just, I needed a moment to just enjoy the morning. Just enjoy the morning. Like, you know how you enjoy the morning when the bills is paid, folks is out in the streets. You realize you ain't really got no stress. You got stress coming later. But right here in this moment, things is good, y'all. Things is good. I feel like singing Mr. Roger. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. A beautiful day in the neighborhood. Is that is a neighbor? Won't you be my, that's not the song. Won't you be my neighbor? Yes. That's a good way to end it. So I'm, let me rewind and go back. Nah, I missed the whole beat. I feel like bumping and grinding now, something like that. I got, I got a body roll in me somewhere. All right, I'll check y'all later. Um, definitely subscribe below. I'm sorry for this just whatever it is video. But if you rocked with me right now, I appreciate it. Say something below. Share out the links. I am coming back with information. I like giving information. But I just needed a moment in the morning. Mmm. To appreciate this. I appreciate you for tuning in. Alright. Check it later.